Take responsibility for yourself. Exercise your self-motivation and self-determination. Practice free enterprise in your holistic home office. Avoid selfish ambition, which is the dark side of human nature. Read all the stories at homeoffice.studio and watch all the videos to get an exceptionally advanced, entertaining education. Hi, greetings. I, uh, I uh, lost my job. I injured myself, my back. I injured, there's a, quite a bit of heavy lifting involved in my job, and uh, so I and I pulled my back out. I don't know what I did to it. Hopefully it's not a serious injury or anything like that. I know it's, it doesn't really bother me if I'm not, you know, lifting any weight. But when I tried to go back to work, it just aggravated and got it, you know, so I kind of, I gave up on that job. And that's, you know, really a, not a good, too good thing, a very good thing because I needed the money. I haven't been making any money with this website, which is what I really want to do. I, uh, you know, I, I, I made a lot of progress in getting this business set up. I, I'm doing what I wanted to do. It's not as, I wish it was a lot more refined and, you know, a little bit more professional, you know, graphic art and stuff like that. But it's, I'm doing what I wanted to do, which is create this knowledge you know, this like source of information for people who want to create their own holistic home office. And that's what I'm trying to do. I, you know, in the last few days I've been working on it and reading, you know, and trying to work on the website and re, you know, I go through the old web stories and rewrite them, you know, and edit them and polish them. And, uh, that's, uh, they get a lot better. I, you know, my they, my stories improve a lot after I've gone through them several different times and improved them. You know, but uh, you know now I'm worried about money. You know, how am I going to pay for this? I gotta, you know, I want to eat. You know, I'm going it's right now. I'm kind of I got about one, three weeks. You know, before I run out of money and stuff, and I so I need. Uh, to figure out how to make money. So I kind of decided, well, okay, I'm gonna go out tomorrow and look around. I'll probably keep looking for a job. I mean, I would rather work on this all the time, but, you know, I have to be realistic. You know, I, I, should, I recommend that you be realistic and I also need to be realistic. You know, I just, I caused myself a lot of problems in my life, you know, I, I, you know, that's why I'm out here all by myself in Seattle. I, you know, my family's back in Denver, you know, I might go back there, but I don't have any way to get there. And I got a lot of stuff. I don't want to just give up all my stuff. You know, my little, I got my nice little home office. Like I said, it's not, you know, my computers. I got a couple of computers and, um, uh, a pretty good smartphone and and uh, I just I want to keep going this is what I've been working on for years I've been trying to do this you know I mean and I just nobody believed in me you know and I just was kind of a stubborn bull in a china closet and I caused a lot of trouble which I'm uh, you know I'm I regret and I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. You know, there's so many times, there's like one time, I mean, I was staying with this one group of people and he was a, he knew a lot about computers. If I would have just been so a little intelligent about it, social and intelligent, I would have, you know, got him involved in this business. But I never even thought about that because I was so, part of it is that I'm so, yeah, you know, I have such low self-esteem. I think nobody's going to want to be involved in my business because it's not, you know, realistic. And, uh, and that's a bad attitude. You know, I got to get over that and realize this is actually a good business to, for me to be in. And um, so, 
you know, my goal, what I'm, I'm thinking about right now is, is, you know, I wish one, one little thing, I don't know if I really want to do this, but my dream, it's kind of been a dream I've had for a long time, is uh, that I would sell computers with Linux on it. You know, have a store that sold computers with Linux on it. And I've been thinking a lot lately. I've been talking about and writing about building a, you know, KDE Neon operating system. And I've been thinking about this and building, a, I think instead of using Ubuntu though, I would use BSD with the KDE desktop and build a, you know, for a, a new Linux distribution. You know, and I have no idea. I'm sure that that's way far above my head. But it's just like a dream, you know. You know I'd have a store and I would sell Linux, computers with Linux on it. Kind of like System76, you know, except instead of, you know, I would use KDE because KDE is so much easier to learn how to use, at least in my opinion with its graphical tools and stuff like that. And then, but I would use the BSD in the core, you know, as the operating system because of the license, the BSD license. Because I don't like the GPL. I, you know, it, to me, it's almost as bad as the Windows user agreement, you know, where you, Windows user agreement says Microsoft owns the software the GPL says nobody owns the software, you know, and they're both telling me what I can do with my computer, you know, and I don't like that. I, I What I want is I want to own the software on my computer and I, I just want to be free. I want I want to be able to do whatever. It's my computer. I want to just do whatever I want to do with it. I don't want anybody telling me what I can do with my computer, you know, and so that's what I want to do. And I, I think the BSD operating system, I think it would work. I don't really know anything about BSD. It's a little bit more complicated to get installed. So I've never actually installed it on my computer. What I should do is install it in a uh, virtual environment and try it out and see what happens. One of the things that kind of holds me back from getting involved in it is the, the main one, the most popular BSD distribution is FreeBSD. And the logo for FreeBSD is the devil. You know, I don't want anything to do with that. Okay. I, I like, the one thing I like about BSD is the license where it says you can do whatever you want to with it, except you can't sue anybody if it doesn't work the way you want to, and you can't prevent anybody else from using it. That, that's perfect. You know, and uh, you do want to have some the, the one advantage of having this community owned system is having everybody has the same system so they can communicate with each other is and that is a good idea so there does need to be some sort of distribution where you can upgrade the system and you know so my idea is for it to be a company a private you know, company, but a lot of Linux people don't like that, you know, they, they, you know, for, they don't like private property and profit. They think, you know, and I'm going like, what the, you can't have a, you know, sustainable business cannot be sustainable if it's not profitable. You know, you, you know, I'm not, you don't want to be greedy or materialistic or selfish or anything like that. I'm not, I totally not recommending, you know, I teach people to not do that. But it does need to be profitable, you know, it needs to earn a profit. And so I'm trying to figure out how to do that, you know, and I would like to be, I wish I could just write books and make videos and, you know, and teach people how to make money and they're working in their own home office. The other thing I would like to have is like a meeting room. I would have a store that would really super modern store selling the laptops and the desktops and everything and the phones you know have one operating system running on the phone the computer everything the smartphone the laptop the desktop the desktop would be my main uh uh 
local development environment where I would be building software and creating creating this operation, this this um, distribution of Linux. You know, this new or BSD. It would be BSD with KDE, and uh, build a whole new operating system and and sell computers with the the, the operating system already installed on it. You know, because that would save people from having to go through the whole process of installing it and getting in and turning the, you know, getting rid of, you know, because you've got to get into the the BIOS and change the settings in there in, in order to get it to be able to install Linux on it and stuff like that. Just kind of do that, get all that part of it out of the way so people can just buy the computer and it works. And um, so to do that. I'd like to have like a big, pretty good sized meeting room. It could be like a classroom or slash meeting room where you could have like meetups for different website designers, you know, and they can trade ideas and stuff like that. You could have classes where you teach people different, you know, things, you know, website design or whatever people are interested in. And, uh, you know, have that part of it with, you know, some coffee, tea, whatever, you know, people want to snack, you know, re how do you call it, refreshments. And um, you sell, sell computers, have your Linux distribution that you're developing and other applications, you know, and just be working on applications because th that part of it, you can have people anywhere on earth working on that. They don't have to be in one location. The store part, and this is why I kind of ha hesitate a little bit about doing this, is because if you if you have a store, you're kind of, that's your, it's a physical location that you're attached to. And, you know, and I'm not, you know, part of me says, don't do that, you know, don't get attached to any particular location. I want to be able to move around. My other goal is to be just to be able to travel around, have my own little home office, and but be able to travel anywhere in the world, and have my smartphone and my camera and just create content, travel around the world, creating content. Of course, home office isn't really something you would need to travel very much to do, but. You know, I'd like to have a drone, get a drone. That's kind of my next idea. Now that I've figured out, oh, how to make videos, you know, well, hey, why don't I get a drone that I can fly around and just go out and make videos? But I've got to figure out how to make money. I've, the, right now, I'm focusing on traffic, attracting an audience. I've got to get this thing so it is an, it's entertaining enough for people to want to watch it. So either I've got to improve my storytelling abilities or figure out some other way, do it, work, learn, improve my uh, search engine optimization skills too, because that's a big thing, you know, and it's, it's the stories, but it's also, you know, the computer science, the web science, the web development part of it, you know, because I need to do all that. Because when I was working at that job, I was just creating videos and putting them up. I wasn't really worried too much about search engine optimization because I didn't have time to. Now I've got all, a lot of time. I'll have to spend some time doing that. But I've got so many different things I want to do. So that's another problem. And I, you know, I got a bunch of reading I want to do. I've got, a, you know, I'm trying to. I'm writing and creating these websites. I, you know, trying to write an article about C programming language, something I don't really know a lot about, but I want to learn about it. You know, I figure I'll by writing this, I'll learn about it by writing this story. It's the plan. And and the problem is, is I get a track. You know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to do too many things at one time. I'm, I've got. You know, I'm distracted, you know, so I work on C for a while and then I work on making a video and then I work on, I got to get a job, you know, and so I get distracted and I need to stay focused and work on one thing and finish that one thing before I start something else, you know, and um, 
get these books you know I've got to flesh out the the computer section of the website and get those stories really well developed well written and well you know in a, into a, an interesting entertaining story that people will want you know they'll be they'll want to watch it you know and they'll come back and they'll watch the whole thing and they'll watch other stories and get a whole bunch of stories like that and that's what will attract the traffic i i guess i figure i hope i'm having i'm still having fun i've been working on i'm just worried sick because i need income you know i hope this i want this to be profitable i need help you know my books for sale on the website the book is not all that you know great i mean it's you know i read a couple chapters of it the other day and it's like it's a little rough you know i mean it's still a good story don't get me wrong it's a great story it's just that my writing style you know my english prose is not up to, you know it's not all that up to academic standards you know so it could, you know i fear it's my first book and so if you have patience and don't let the rough writing style, you know, distract you, it will definitely, you'll learn some stuff. You know, it's a great story and it's well worth reading. No matter who you are, no matter if you're just, you've never really messed around with computers before, or if you're a, uh, a lot smarter than I am about computers. If this will be a good book for you to learn, you will learn some new things that you never. You'll be going like, "What the?" Yeah, because <laughs> I, I get I you know is anyway. I am myself. I am a Yoda. I'm a holistic. I'm a very high performance holistic healer and teacher. I'm a storyteller. You know. A North American shaman telling stories to make the world, you know, to teach the people of Earth to live long and prosper. Thanks.